Hey everyone, Hillary here. Um, I just want to check in. It's been kind of a, just kind of a long week and I just wanted to check in. How are you all? Are you doing good? Um, so it's Monday, I think. Yeah, it's Monday still. And it's 11 o'clock, a little past, or a little before 11 o'clock anyway. And I'm just a little bit fried. <laughs> um, well, I wanted to all... So Sunday, I wanted to check in, but I'm... Since I'm Christian, I'm not sure if that counts as, like, the do-it-later work thing. So I'm still getting a handle on what I can do, and so I thought I'd come in Monday. So here I am in my PJs, <laughs> and I just really wanted to see you all again, or at the very least, talk with you all again. So on Saturday, I got to ride a four-wheeler for the first time in my life. It was a lot of fun. Um, my mom and my stepdad actually taught me how. We just went rode around their front yard. They have a nice place that has some land, and it was a blast. I killed it three times. <laughs> so it's the shifting and the clutch that's the hardest for me. Everything else, it was a lot. It, it came pretty well. It's just starting the thing because they're really old. So I couldn't start it. There is no way. It was one of those pump things like you had to pull down the lever to start it. Not like a key or anything. And no matter how hard I try it, guys, apparently I don't weigh enough to do it. Or I don't have enough muscle mass in my legs to do it. But I could not start that thing. I jumped on it. Like, I was asked to jump on it. So it's not like I'm disregarding anybody's property. They're like, oh, jump on it if you can't do that. Did nothing. <laughs> so I had my mom. My mom taught me a little bit about it because she'd been riding motorcycles when she was about my age. Like, she was more the daredevil. I'm, my idea of a night out is like going and hanging out with friends, going to the movies, or if I feel risque to go out to a bar, sure, but it's not, not my idea, not my ideal, I guess, of what I'd like to do. I'm more, more of a homebody, I like to stay at home and watch movies, or more accurately nowadays watch YouTube. <laughs> so I'm a user of YouTube and I'm a creator. I'm still unsure. I was actually talking with some actually missionaries the other day and I was explaining like I do this for fun and as I said I don't want to call myself a YouTuber yet because A I don't put up videos very often and I want to do this every day. I got out of the habit and I'm terrible with bad habits so forgive me I'm going to start doing this every day. <laughs> um, if not every day, every other day, so I can get back into the swing of things. I also told them I'm hesitant to call myself a YouTuber because I haven't been doing this very long, you know? I, uh, I don't know if there's a limit or like, you know, if you do it for six months, you're a YouTuber, but it feels weird. <laughs> um, plus, it's just something I like to do for to unwind, to relax, just hang out with you all. And it's just weird for me to say at this point in time. Maybe in the future I'll be like, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> um, so yeah. And the ums and so's are back because I'm nervous. It's been, it's just been a really hectic week, you know. And hectic with just, my fiance and I are trying to find a place to live. We, neither of us have jobs. He had a job he had to quit because he also suffered a little bit from anxiety and he could not take the pressure. It was, if you're wondering, he was a, um, what's it called? Uh, a care, it's a, he was a caregiver at a nursing home and he had a lot of residents to take care of. It wasn't what he expected and he got really overwhelmed and he just knew this was not a fit for him. So he talked to his boss, you know, it was, they parted on good terms. So like, 
after talking with him, I understood because I won't lie, I was angry. <laughs> Because we were looking up housing and we're talking about getting married. We we're still talking about the marriage thing. I saw my ring, so we're good. <laughs> it's just, it's stressful. Like, if anybody's watching this and they're single and they're maybe thinking about having a boyfriend or girlfriend for the first time or maybe haven't had it in a long time, I will remind you or I will tell you it's really hard. Two people coming together and working together, it's a lot more different. It's something that I'm still getting used to and I've been with him for six years, almost seven. And we still have our disagreements, we still have our fights, we still have times, which no physical, okay? <laughs> we are not like that, the most we do is yell and it's mostly honestly me, I need to work on that. So as sweet as some people, feel I am and I most of the time am in not only in person but in private I have my anger stuff that I need to deal with so uh, it's just so much you know <laughs> being an adult is hard and I know that some of you are probably chuckling because it sounds like you know an easier time or some of you are like really but this is just how I am it's just hard in this point in time for my life and I'm just trying to get used to it. So I didn't mean to curve it that way. I was going to say bad about, you know, doing the four wheeling. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I'd like to do it again. And oh, more positive, more positive. I got to see a couple of cute kitties. <laughs> so my mom's really big into animals and she loves cats, dogs, we had so many animals growing up, not just domestic, but um, like ducks and chickens. We just had and rats, birds, fish. Oh my goodness, what else did we have? I think that, oh, bunny, we had a bunny and um, we had a goose. <laughs> we had a lot of things. And where I, you know, the area where I live, it's okay to do that as long as you talk with the people in the city and the state. I guess. I don't know. I was too young to understand. But so she got a couple of kittens and I got to meet them and they are super shy, you guys. I got to pet one and his name is Jasper and her, um, not her, she, his sister, his name is Aubrey and they're adorable and I love them and Aubrey's so, she's so shy. You can tell how much I love animals because I just they're so cute and even when people think that they're ugly like I think possums are cute most people are like they are giant rats with huge snouts they hiss and they play dead and you know but I grew up in an area where we had possums come by they never hurt our animals they were very nice in fact I'd hesitate to call them this little bit tame we never petted them because they're wild animals guys don't touch wild animals um, but we did feed them cat food because they just come in and get the cat food anyway and we have a couple hot dogs for them so we actually had a family of them back in the day and there was a mom and a dad that would come in and then one day they came in and there was a couple little babies and we got to see them grow up and it, it was so nice they never we had chickens and ducks and we had a goose and the cats we had lots of cats about five or six now, I'm, we didn't live in a little apartment or anything, so um, it, we lived in a home, but it was just really cute, <laughs> and they, we saw them grow up, they got to the point where they weren't scared of us, we wouldn't go near them, because they are wild animals, and rabies, and all that, but just, it was nice to have them, and my, this is a wandering video, isn't it? <laughs> I talked about relationship problems, I talked about, or problems, it's just traditional stuff. I talked about there are, like having the four-wheeler experience a little bit, and kitties, and then animals. <laughs> oh boy. Well, getting back into the swing of things, guys. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm going to let you go. Um, if you're interested in these little rambling videos, please subscribe, and I hope to see talk with you later. I hope you are well. 
stay safe, and I'll talk with you later. Bye.